What's up, mighty and powerful people? In this video, I'm gonna talk about how Sologenic is creating their ecosystem to really fucking thrive with XRP Ledger and the Corium Network and really just bring in all of the other networks. Now, I know there's other ISO 200,022 tokens like Quant, HBAR, XLM, ADA that are working simultaneously on these issues there's some other coins too but that are working simultaneously on mass adoption but solo solo genic they are becoming a behemoth and i'm going to show you why i think this next bull run is going to greatly appreciate the value and adoption for the xrp ledger solo genic xrpl tokens and possibly Corium network so let's get into it the fear and greed index is at 30 today which is slowly increasing day by day last month it was at 25 and i guess that's a good thing right like that this is the time to be reinvesting back into our positions finding out the positions that are going to work and uh getting ready for the next wave now before we get into the cards which is what we're about to be talking about today solo gen cards i want to share this with you that coinflex has completed their solo genic airdrop and distribution and so everybody who had their tokens on coinflex they'll be getting they got their coins and this is where we went into right here let me see it's right here all right so solo genics new components and upgrades in quarter to uh, quarter two and 2022 so this is what's coming this is what they're working on now i want to make a clear distinction right here there is definitely a difference between bob ross and reza all right so there is a distinction between them they are they have evolved into a, a higher position in the their ecosystem and they are i want to say they're more focused on corium and the development and just where they're having fun their strengths right and then you got this other team that is evolving or has been with them and evolving to higher positions as well and they did an interview with um the jenna girl from around twitter uh that you can see there, there's an interview I'll, I'll put a link to that in the description below but this right here is essentially what they are working on so they got a solo launch pad coming a market index a bridge between xrpl and other blockchains solo cards and fiat ramp and then the x the xls 20d swap now these are all important these are all equally important right this bridge between XRPL and other blockchains, that's important for them to get Corium and bridging with one another. So you can best believe that's gonna happen. I mean, this is all gonna happen. So the Sologenic Launchpad, that's essentially gonna help all of us, right? Help us uh, find projects early on that the, the core of XRPL participants believe in and wanna invest in. The market index is essentially going to be like a coin market cap, but for the XRP ledger, I know we already have some of those for the XRP ledger, but I do think that if Sologenic is able to pull this off and make it more attributable to the Sologenic decks, it's just going to make everything a whole lot easier. Imagine when you're going to coin, coin market cap and you see a coin and then you want to invest in it and you have to jump through all of those fucking hoops just to get that token. Well, in this case, if it's done how I think it's going to be done, when we're searching for the tokens on the XRP ledger inside this market dex, we're able to buy from the Sologenic dex. We don't have to jump through all those hoops because we already have it set up. Now, here's the kicker. These solo cards. Let's get into them. Let me show you these solo cards because I want to I want to show you what they're going to what they're talking about. So the solo cards are also they're they're making this a fiat ramp, right? where you're going to buy and send cryptocurrencies directly on the Sologenic Dex. This is beautiful. This is exactly what I believe you all want to see. I know I want to see it. I look forward to it coming because of the last bull run. So the last bull run, if you remember, XRP it had a it had a little a little increase in price compared to most of the other tokens. But a big reason was that for that was because of the lawsuit XRP was getting delisted from all of the exchanges that had fiat ramps, right? Like Coinbase, 
really Coinbase. So this solution right here could bypass that and allow people to go straight to Sologenic and buy with fiat. Think about how many hoops investors, newly found investors, as well as veteran investors, do not have to go through. They don't have to go through Coinbase. They won't have to go through Uphold. They won't have to go through having to switch through BitTrue to get into some and like having all these other different apps and wallets and all this other shit. They'll be able to go straight to to Sologenic, buy fiat as you are uh, buy a crypto as you see right here they got xrp and they also got a little tab so you'll be able to switch your different crypto uh, to whichever one you want to buy probably that'd be nice if it's any xrpl token maybe even others because it's bridging all the other currencies like bitcoin and ethereum and litecoin and all that other stuff this could be very beneficial to the next waves and the next waves to come these bull runs from here on out i mean everything could come to the xrp ledger just like xrp has been talking about ripple right ripple the xrp asset the xrp ledger asset this is where all the money is going to flow this is the internet of value right here so when investors want to invest in value they're coming to the sologenic dex to transfer assets on the XRP ledger and it's going to be backed by XRP and Ripple and Sologenic both of those entities that are for-profit entities are for-profitly developing their ecosystem so they can make a profit and keep the, the ecosystem sustainable and as a result we are all investing and in building value of the future and the present. Now there's a there's a, a sentence right here. Let me see where is it at. With the fiat ramp, the entry barrier to start trading and minting on the ecosystem will be eradicated. This will go live mid March 2022. Right there, that is what that is that is what I took from that sentence right there completely eradicating all of those steps that everybody has to invest in when you tell people about xrp or sologenic or everything else then you gotta give them a whole freaking slew of tasks and they're like no nah, i don't want to do that i'll just go buy ethereum or bitcoin from coinbase they don't want to go through uphold they don't want to hop over to bitrue they don't want to hop back over into a, a some wallet where they own their own keys people don't want to do all that not not i shouldn't say people some people right the mighty and powerful ones they they did it they figured it out they evolved and because you've evolved you now know how to do that and then so much more within the crypto sphere and so it's up to all of us within this ecosystem to put systems together that allow mass adoption and this right here, this fiat ramp is going to help with mass adoption for the XRP ledger and the whole ecosystem that is around the XRP ledger. And when that next wave comes, see right now a lot of people are, are deciding whether or not they should put money into crypto or if they should put money somewhere else. But when that FOMO starts kicking in, all money goes into crypto. Best believe and they're telling everybody to buy XRP or whatever assets they got. But XRP is one of the biggest brands within the crypto sphere. The, when, when it comes to brands, right? The stock symbols, all that stuff, Forex symbols, XRP is one of the biggest ones. Next to Bitcoin, because when you say cryptocurrency to somebody, they say, oh, like Bitcoin and Ethereum. But so XRP is one of the biggest ones. And it was cut out of the last wave and it still investors saw some substantial gains so imagine on these next waves to come this is without regulation ladies and gentlemen this is simply the fiat ramp there is no fiat ramp to the xrp ledger until this right here when it goes mid-march 2022 i'm excited i hope you are all excited
this is gonna be good and then so then we got the solo cards right so this is gonna again go to the part of the fiat ramp because now with fiat ramps you got on ramps and off ramps so this is the on ramp you come onto the on ramp and once you're on the on ramp what happens when you go on the on ramps you end up on the highway the interstate boom sologenic and the xrp ledger are the interstate and then when you want to go off, when you want to exit the, the interstate, you have to go on the off ramp. So you take the exit and this is your exit, your solo cards. Users will be able to off ramp crypto assets through the use of solo cards, allowing card holders to spend digital assets wherever traditional credit cards are globally accepted. Now, all you need right here after you get this solo card, which there's, a, there's only the first batch is only going to be for 5000 solo cards. So Keep an eye out. Subscribe to this um, YouTube channel and I will be keeping an eye out. This way we can apply and we can get our solo cards. I only have a couple hundred subscribers. So if all of my subscribers, if we all get this solo card, that's definitely a, a chunk of that solo card. And that would be great. And as you can see, it's a MasterCard. You got the solo card app, Fiat on spot conversion, crypto assets, as collateral and then you have exclusive benefits like cashback and more perks will be confirmed shortly oh and the airport lounges that was i like how they put that right there they know they know that that was a big reason why we invested in sologenic because of those airport lounges that just going through airports as you travel you go to the airport lounge you show them your card and boom you're in places where that cost like 50 dollars a day and you're only there for 10 minutes. And it might even cost a couple hundred depending on what airport you're at. So this is a, this right here in itself is an asset. I'm telling you, this is an asset. This is, oh, this is amazing. I'm so glad this is coming. And then from there, <clears throat> you're gonna earn rewards. So you're gonna earn more. I imagine it's gonna be more, um, more solo. So you're just gonna earn solo tokens. And then as solo appreciates and XRP appreciates, essentially, you're able to actively live passively earn actively live just from this right here just just from this and this fiat ramp now there's a whole cash flow behind that and how you can move your funds and and make it all happen that'll come in time and then and then they have the a visual representation of how their launch pad and token issuance is going to work so then projects are able to list right here now if I were to develop a project, which I am thinking about building a project for all of us, I'm not sure if I'd go through the launch pad, but that is just because of the use case of, of the where I'm headed and what I'm trying to do and, and provide value to all of us. I don't think we need that. I think we would need more of just all of us coming together and enjoying our lives, watching YouTube, uh, you know, following Sologenic core, seeing what seeing what we can learn from all, uh, from everybody, and uh, and then here's a description of or a, a visual of the market index. As you can see right here, let me see if we can zoom in. As you can see, uh, it takes it out. All right, so right now you got the trade NFTs and your solo. Well, usually it's a wallet, so maybe your solo card will become your wallet. You have the the trade NFTs and yeah, your wallet. So right here, they have a visual representation of the the menu. It has a bridge, so you're gonna be able to bridge your assets. Dang, that's amazing! Right in there, and then you have the IDO, the launch pad, and then you have your fiat positions as well. Uh, so you're the fiat on ramp, so coming in and buying with a card. Then you have solo card and then you have your market tab and this is going to be the index for all of these xrpl tokens and as you can see you got you got corium you got 3d ape club you got quarter onion games and i've never even heard of that but there it is and yeah that's that's gonna be great look it looks like you can separate them between categories and industries just like in coin market cap and then I, I imagine you're gonna click on that you know if we clicked on sologenic it would open up the chart simple easy intuitive 
They did it. They fucking did it. This is going to be great. And then they have the swap and migrate it. So if you have any NFTs on the, the old standard, then they're just going to be able to upgrade. And then those will be smart NFTs. Well, programmable NFTs. And now I don't know if the old projects or the current the projects when they migrate will be able to put in some extra code for us. But we'll, we'll have to see. That would be nice if all of the current holders of these um, older standard NFTs are considered part owners of the original asset. Not necessarily a creator's royalty, but like a uh, owner royalty maybe from the, from the swap. And then every transaction, the creator and the owner of the old standard NFT gets a royalty based off the transaction. But that's something that you all have to talk to your projects that you're invested about. So I would highly recommend that and suggest that so they could see if that's possible with Sologenic. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Maybe if the projects inquire about this with Sologenic, it will be if it isn't. So take that into consideration. And with that, I hope you all have a mighty and powerful day. Talk to you later.